when Chris and I first came here, we came in through the back door, came down the stairs, discovered this gorgeous interior that we're now in, which goes back to 1910, the original trusses, I mean, just amazing woodwork. And immediately Chris and I looked at each other and said, oh my God, this could be special. It was, and we realized that the potential included um, the way it was set up, we could create an art community here with people having many opportunities in the parking lot, which we can turn into part of a patio. Artists can interact. Um, they can have conversations about art or anything else. And we can also have a sort of outdoor area that we can use for galleries and openings as well. Uh, so there's a great potential for something really unique in the city. Well, the economy boomed in San Diego and Petco Park was part of a sort of building craze, a building fever, and also just the fever of the entire economy. Artists were here before, but when it got so expensive uh, during the, I guess it peaked in 2006, 2007, Artists couldn't afford to be here. They couldn't afford to be in the city. And that's when we started noticing people leaving and, and started thinking of what we could do. As far as the Chargers Stadium, I looked at the research uh, because I, I'm a landscape architect and I've done some urban, I've done some urban planning um, work. The, the, um, the studies say, in fact, when you Google urban stadiums, um, that it's really not the e economical boon that everybody thought it was going to be. So in the long run, all the cities in the United States that, that latched onto this kind of urban stadium fever have not made their money back. It's one thing you can rally behind and really cheer for your home team, et cetera, and that's good. However, I really don't think the center city is the best place. What do you want to identify your city and how are you unique as a city? Why is San Diego different than you know, Cincinnati or Cleveland or even New York City? It's because we in fact have a very, very special place to live and the core of that is quality, part of quality is culture. So I feel the central identity to San Diego should be more of an arts and culture identity. Everybody has football teams, baseball teams, basketball teams, all the above and everything, and it's good, but it's not what makes us special. The center for art like this, that is a collective that has this dynamics and has this really alive energy, serves as a generator for the whole community and something the community can be proud of, that they have that soul is alive and well in developing and communicating because we want to keep those great artists that are graduating from state and from UCSD here in San Diego. That can only happen if we provide affordable housing. And what better place than right here in the center of the city where it's the core, the nucleus of everything.